Hey there, so I wanted to make a quick video just because I saw that a lot of people are getting into AI, things like ChatGPT, a lot of the new competitors out there, and I wanted to share the way that I'm using AI and how it's really been helping to increase productivity as well as get better answers for me and for clients here. So I'm using it as a tool to learn, and I'll just give you one example of how I use it to increase the knowledge that I'm taking in every single day because I see it as the highest leverage activity is consistently learning, right? So reading books, consuming podcasts, and there's a physical limit, I think, to the amount that you can take in in a single day, right? So I, I'm working for a lot of the day, and then there's a part of my day where I need to do knowledge work, especially in the later hours of the day when, you know, perhaps you've had lunch and your brain's working a little slower, or you're just not really acting at your prime, or if you're working late into the night, you know, things like this happen and you need to get things done at a tight deadline. I think a lot of people use ChatGPT just for quick answers. I use it for asking better questions because what I've noticed is that ChatGPT doesn't actually give you the right answer all the time, right? I've worked in coding projects, I've worked as well in marketing projects, creating business structures, infrastructures, SOPs, etc. I use it every day. But the thing that I notice is that it doesn't necessarily tell you the right way to implement it. So, for example, here, I'll look at a book that I was just reading, I picked up. It's called uh, Ready, Fire, Aim, about growing businesses. And then you, you can just tell it, hey, give me the summary of, right? And what's cool about this is that it it's going to tell you each phase, right? And, and what you need to know from reading a book. Because what I found is that oftentimes books in business kind of just like hit the same point home a lot. It's kind of just like any other, you know, in the self-help space or sometimes psychology books as well do this. They it, Usually a book just has a thesis and then a ton of different examples that really bring that point home, you know, when we're looking at the nonfiction realm here. So let's take a look at what it generated here or what it is generating. Okay, cool. So the startup phase is zero to one million in sales. Focus on sales. Emphasize the importance of sales in the early stage, right? Develop a viable product. Master one sales channel, right? Actually, after reading this part of the book so far, I think I read 50 pages the other day while I was at the gym, uh, you know, on the on the treadmill there. And it, this is literally what I took away. As it's, you know, in this first phase, all you have to do is sell and find one product, right? Then again, the infant at the infant stage, one to 10 million in sales expand. So then you have to go and find upscaling sales and marketing efforts, build a second product um, for or higher, it seems like it's saying here. And then, okay, 10 to 50 million is new products. Okay, a little later. So what you can see here is I didn't have to read the whole book. And I'm not saying that ChatGPT is about to re replace every book that you're going to read, right? It definitely won't. I think I was I was listening to a podcast with Jeff Bezos today, and he was talking about how our phones are, you know, these devices that we have here are shortening our attention spans day by day, right? That is that is the function of, of these things, or it's not the function, but it's a byproduct that we're not really sure of what's happening right now. So is it, we don't want to say it's a good or a bad thing, right? We notice that it's happening. We, we see that short form content, what marketing is doing right now is causing humans to have an incredibly low attention span, okay? So what this means is that we need to 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 resist this, right? To continue to grow and not let the technology necessarily dictate the way we grow because our tools do define, we, they, they help to steer us in, the, in a direction, right? They do define growth just as well as we create the tools. The tools also help shift and change our realities and perspectives, right? So in order to resist shorter attention spans and, and all this sort of stuff that comes along with just consuming content super quickly, what you can do is read books, right? I think this is one of the great aspects of why I do read and why I do listen to long form podcasts, one, two, three hour podcasts. That's that's normal for me because I want to follow a thread of logic for a long period of time and keep my attention focused on something. That's why I meditate as well, right? So ChatGPT cannot do this for you. And I think that finding this is more of a, a quick solution to you know summarizing books, summarizing papers. I also drop in papers here. This is really, really helpful as well. Now, this is really good if you have a lot of things that you need to consume and you don't have a lot of time to do it. So that's one other thing. But then you can also just ask ChatGPT and ask it for better strategies 
right? So four things that you may be missing, right? What I often do is I put in a contract or I tell it, you know, like what are the common loopholes that I should be aware of in signing a equity agreement for stock options, right? Or something like this, right? Because I signed a contract to have equity in a SaaS company that we we're working with recently. And it's saying, look at look about vesting and schedule clips, right? I'm not the expert on this because I've only done this a few times before. And there are lawyers that are paid hundreds and hundreds of dollars per hour to just do this stuff. But this helps me to have a better idea and come to those conversations more prepared so that I don't have to spend as much money on lawyers when they look over it and I can ask better questions, right? So early exercise, tax implications, dilution, right? So all these things, and then what you can do is even throw the contract in here and ask it to help look over, come up with things, right? And, and give you better better insights into what's going on here. So I hope this is helpful. You know, the, the takeaway of this video is use ChatGPT to help you ask better questions. Don't use it necessarily for answers because we're not there yet. I think in five years, it'd probably be a lot smarter than most humans, right? So take this with a grain of salt. Hope this is helpful. Now, if you want to learn a lot more tips, tricks, insights about scaling SaaS businesses, go ahead and check out the two and a half hour 500k per month SaaS scaling webinar below. It's free for a limited time, so check the link and see if it's still active. Apart from that, like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed the video. All right, see you in the next one. See you guys. Bye-bye.